Hi everyone, it's Dee Rondinella, Coordinator of Technology Training with this month's Sewing Saturday. Today we're going to learn how to make a fleece hat. They're very simple and very easy and they don't take a lot of material. However, they're very functional and very, very warm. So let's go ahead and let's get started. What you're going to need uh, is approximately 27 to 30 inches of fleece. I use fleece straight out of the craft store, nothing special, not the most expensive kind, just the everyday anti pill And what I do is I usually go to the remnant section so that I can get it at a 50% off because you don't really need a full yard. I have also created a pattern for my hat. Now the original pattern was one that I purchased from Simplicity many years ago and I have to tell you I wore it out. So I made a pattern from um, that last little tissue paper that I had left and I laminated it and I'm willing to share it when the Maker Studio is open. So if you ever want to use it and we're open just let me know and I'll make sure my copy of my pattern is there for you. But what it is, is if you look at this, and I'm going to hold it up in a second, is it is approximately 27 inches wide by about 27 to 30 inches long. And the reason I give you those estimates is because everybody's hat size is different. And you may want to measure it towards the person's head so it's comfortable. But here it is. It is one solid piece. And you can see that it's got straight sides, but it's got what we call little like triangles right out of the top. Those are specially measured so that when we make the seams on the top, the hat comes to look like a peak. And I'll explain those as we go. So what I do is I lay my fleece out and I place my pattern on top. And I will pin it. And then when I do that, I use either a rotary cutter or a pair of scissors to um, cut out the fram entire pattern. So here it is, completely cut out. And you're going to notice because the fleece comes like regular fabric with two sides because they do a fold over. I have from one cut enough for two hats. So I'm going to take one of my hats and I'm going to lay it aside. Then I'm going to take my next hat and I'm going to get ready to sew it. Let me move my tools here so that I have enough room so I can show you. Here it is laid out flat. Now you need to determine which is the right side and which is the wrong side with your fleece. Um, so that it uh, depends on which one has what we call a little more of the grain to it is oftentimes the um, outer side or the right side. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it so that the right sides are together. Okay? Right sides together, and I'm going to match up all the pieces and parts because I'm going to get ready to sew. I'm going to pin it so you can see the points where I'm going to put my seams. Like for instance, I'm going to start right here at the top of the first peak, and I'm going to pin that because I'm going to come down and I'm going to turn that pivot right there at that corner and I'm going to come about two inches down. I have to leave a gap so that when I flip the hat right side out that um, yeah, I have something to pull it through. Now I'm going to put a second pin to tell myself where to start my seam again. And then I'm going to come down here with my final pin and I'm going to put it on this end right at the top of that peak so that I know to stop sewing there. Now I'm going to take this moment and I'm going to sew this. All right. I'm, on, I'm going to be using a quarter inch seam just like I do regular seams. And I'm going to put it under my machine. Now if you have the type of machine that doesn't like fleece, which is always possible, then you're going to want to use something called a walking foot. And I talk about a walking foot a lot. But what that is, is it a different kind of a foot that goes on the machine that helps pull the fabric through. So I'm going to sew this. Now I'm going to cut from the video so that you don't have to listen to the machine. All right, I finished my sewing um, of my long seam. I started at the top of the peak. I came to the corner where I pivoted. I came down, skipped my spot here so I can pull it right side out. And I finished my seam to my next uh, pin that I had. One more piece of seam that you have to make before we go any further is on this side here. 
we have to do the same thing on this side. However, instead of sewing all the way down, we have a fold. So all we have to do is sew from the uh, peak to the base. And you have to do it on both sides. So not just on the top of the hat, but you also have to come down here to the bottom of the hat. And once again, I pin it to tell myself to stop sewing and where to start sewing. So give me a moment. If you want, you can hold on. And I will simply sew this very quickly and we can then get started with the second part. It does get a little noisy, but it will go quickly. There's one side. Now this is all being done in real time, so this is how fast it takes um, to make one of these hats. They're, they're very easy and they're enjoyable to make. Alright, that's done. Now we have our two areas sewn, so we're ready to do the next step. What you're going to have to do is you turn it sideways and you're going to pull them open like that. And so the next thing that you're going to sew are the newly created um, little corner areas. So I'm going to pin it, knowing this is where I'm going to sew. And I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. It's gonna look a little strange because you have these seams now sticking out, but you're going to create these on both the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to sew them. And I will be right back with them sewn. All right, I have those second peaks on both sides sewn, but I still have a gap in the top. Now this is what we're going to do to close that up. I'm going to pull it so that it's flat together so that the side is flat. This is the seam side, but the top, if you look, I'm going to pull these other peaks, one to the left and one to the right, depending on the side. Let me show you this in action. So here I am, I'm folding it back so the seam is flat and I'm laying the peaks together and I'm folding one to one side and one to the other. Whatever you do to the top, you will do the same thing to the bottom. Now I'm going to give it a seam straight across. Now that's a lot of fabric, so take it easy on your machine. You may need to even increase the, um, not the tension, but the size of the uh, stitch. That sometimes helps when you're going through a thick fabric. So there's the top of the one. I'm going to move to the bottom, and I want to do the same thing. I'm going to lay it flat and I'm going to press this one to this side and that one to that side and I'm going to sew. Can you believe it? We're almost done. So we have our hat. I know it looks a little strange, but wait till you see it turned right side out. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to pull it right side out. At one time, my kids used to think this was magical and turn things inside out for me, and now they don't, so I do it myself. All right, so here we are. Looks like a bag, doesn't it? But we're not quite done because we have to seal this edge, and you can do it by hand or you can use your machine again because this is going to be on the inside of the hat. I just put a quick seam right here to close that up. Nobody's going to see it. And the seam is now closed. Now let's create a hat, shall we? I'm pulling from the center and I'm going to shake it a little bit. It does take some shaking to open it up. And I'm going to take the bottom of the hat where that extra seam is at, and I'm going to push it through. It does take a little pushing and shoving, but watch what happens. Magically, do you see the hat appearing? Now, I've got it matched up at the top. Looks really good. The pieces all match and feel good, but I'm going to give it a brim. And I do that with a little tuck of my fabric 
pulling and hearing there. And there you have it. You have a little fleece hat that you can wear for yourself or you can give to another. Now, if you'd like more information on this, please contact the library and ask for deed. Or perhaps you'd like a copy of my pattern. Like I said, it is available when the Maker Studio is open. Just let me know. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.